Pedestrian vehicle crashes are responsible for more than a third of all traffic-related fatalities and injuries worldwide. Many crashes involving pedestrians occur in urban areas where cars drive at relatively low speeds. Euro NCAP uses standardized tests that simulate the most common pedestrian vehicle crashes to assess the level of pedestrian safety. So tests are done at 40 km per hour and uh, that represents uh, what's happened in, in, in case of an impact of pedestrian with a car in the city. With the inclusion of the pedestrian score into the overall rating, Euro NCAP has encouraged improvement of pedestrian protection. Over the last years, the organization has toughened its criteria, challenging car manufacturers to deliver pedestrian-friendly designs, regardless of vehicle size or class. So we've got the leg foam impactor and we will hit the bumper with the leg foam. We've got the upper leg foam for uh, the bonnet leading edge. And we are doing impact also on, uh, on the bonnet with child head foam and with adult head foam. Smooth body surfaces, clearance to stiff underlying structures and energy absorbing bumpers are some vehicle characteristics that can help protect pedestrians in the event of an impact. Dynamically raised bonnets and windscreen airbags are being developed for improved pedestrian protection. In the years to come, a big step forward for pedestrian safety is expected as new active safety systems able to automatically stop a car before it hits a pedestrian will be fitted across the vehicle fleet. AEB systems use a number of sensors fitted around the vehicle that can sense the environment around them and either warn on behalf of the driver or even intervene by applying the brakes to avoid or mitigate a crash. For Euro NCAP, reducing the risk of injury in pedestrian accidents by improving the safety of cars is and will remain a priority in the coming years.